Hey all, welcome back to another mini sode where today we'll be putting on our knee pads and deck tape once again with Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Keeping with the ain't broke don't fix it motif, THPS 4 continues to build upon the fun and smooth gameplay of the games before it by adding some improvements and new features. Previous regular and hidden combos from the last game return here, along with some new tricks to learn, as well as spine transfers, which allow you to transfer between connecting quarter pipes or fix your position when exiting one to prevent bailing. There's also the ability to skitch, or hang off in the back of cars. In an interesting move, 4 is the only game in the series that doesn't require you to purchase tricks for your skater. Instead, trick sets are set by what type of moves you set for your skater. Speaking of skaters, the usual suspects return for the fourth outing, along with special guests like Django Fett, pro skater slash wrestler Mike Vallee, and Eddie, the mascot of metal band Iron Maiden. As far as modes go, you get the standard free skate, single run, and multiplayer, with modes like Trick Attack, Graffiti Tag, and King of the Hill, to name a few. And yeah, still no online. Career mode, however, was changed into something a bit different. First, you now have large open world stages to explore with no time limit. Instead of having set objectives, you talk to NPCs around the stage to receive different tasks like gain a high score, collect objects, spell the word skate, pull off certain tricks, and so on. While the free homing aspect is nice in general, here it feels like it just doesn't work too well. True, it's easier to restart an objective if you fail it, but with the classic arcade style that Tony Hawk has been known for so far, the open world just feels a bit bloated. Everything else still plays just as well, so that's always a plus. Visually, THPS 4 looks slightly better than 3, but not enough to be a graphical milestone. Still, with the now larger open world maps, there's a lot more going on with more people walking around, cars driving back and forth, buildings with multiple levels, and so on, as well as the real-life pro skaters looking a bit more like they do in real life. As for the soundtrack, it's a pretty good mix of rap and rock once more, with some pretty good standouts from ACDC, Iron Maiden, The Offspring, Run DMC, and more. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 is the end of the classic Hawk era, and it shows that developer Neversoft pushed that original formula as far as they could go, while still trying to innovate with new ideas. However, compared to the awesome 2 and 3, Part 4 just isn't as good. But if you look at this game as more of a prototype of what was to come with the franchise, you'll be a bit more forgiving. Speaking of the future, Neversoft decided to expand upon the open world aspect of Part 4 and added something we never thought we'd see in a Tony Hawk game. A story. And since there will actually be more to talk about than just small improvements and new characters, I think the next installment, Tony Hawk's Underground, will be more than just a tiny little mini-sode. So, until then, this is the Dolly Popka. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.